Ah, hi, guess what I got today? I got candles. It's our fall collection and it's here and I'm ready to sniff it with you. Let's do this. Hello beauties and welcome to the channel. I'm Jessica Yick, the Dancing Avon Lady and today we're doing a snip-a-thon. I think I do this pretty much every year around this time because it is pumpkin pie and pumpkin spice season. Ah, oh, so exciting. So it's gonna be a relatively short video today, I think. I always say that and it always ends up, I talk a lot more than I expect, but our fall candles are finally here and you guys know I love candles. I love candles, I love candles, I love candles. Even though I don't really burn them that often, I just like having them around. In all honesty, I do burn them um, downstairs in the kitchen a lot, and I also burn them when I want a little bit of like special ambiance going around. Oh, wow. But I also love just how delicious they smell and how a scent can really just change and transform an entire space. It is, it just gives you a whole new experience. So this is part of our um, Layers Redefined line and they are the LYRD or Layered Three Wick Candles. It is a soy blend wax candle and it has about a 30 hour burn time. So the suggestion is always for the very first time let it burn for one hour blow it out let it solidify again and then you can burn it however you want but usually what that does it gives you the the maximum burn life for it I usually burn my candles for a maximum of one to two hours at a time usually after I cook or if I'm cleaning and I need that just extra ambience. We haven't been really entertaining people very much. Sometimes when I entertain and I have a, like a theme going, I'll blow, I'll burn a candle or two. But I'm really excited because this year, guys, the fall candles sound yumma, yumma, yumma. So let's get right into it. In total, we have four candles to share with you. The first one is going to be pumpkin pie because how can you be in fall without having some pumpkin pie, right? It is pumpkin pie spice everything right now. From Aura, we have the hand wash, but this is a candle, and so this is gonna spice up my room. So this one here, it has a decadent pumpkin, cinnamon, sugar, and vanilla scent. According to the pictures, it's supposed to be this really nice green glass. And then the other thing is, on top of the candle, instead of a lid, what they have is they have like a dust cover. So you can always put that back on after the candle solidifies so that the dust doesn't settle on top of it. Now, what I have done in the past, I've saved my candle lids from previous candles and I've been using that on top because it fits perfectly fine. But I mean, if you don't have that, the dust sh uh, the dust cover should help. I haven't opened any of these yet, so I'm excited to take a look. So here it is. Here's the box. Let's open this beauty up. Oh, I can smell it already. Oh, yum, yum, yum. Oh, it's so cute. And what I really like about the Layers Redefined ones is that the dust covers all have pretty prints. Isn't that so cute? Oh, yum. I'm hungry now. But look at this glass. Doesn't that just look so inviting? Oh my gosh. I really love it. I love it. So our other candles in the past have been like this um some of it's silver some of it's more of a milk glass this green glass is gorgeous and you can reuse these you can reuse these for so many different things i did do a live stream a little while ago about different things you could do with these containers but oh my gosh it smells so delicious you can smell the pumpkin i'm getting a, like a little hint of cinnamon so it has a little bit like that almost that spicy earthy aroma it is delicious. So this pumpkin pie, yum. The next one is the fur balsam fireplace. Last year we had a fur balsam one and I loved it so much. I ended up getting two. Nelson really, really likes it. And the, uh, the surprising thing was that it actually ended up being slightly more of a floral kick to it than, than I thought it would be, but I really, really enjoyed it. I don't let it burn for a really long time because it is a bit strong, uh, but just a little bit of burn time is more than enough. So I'm excited to see, and that my, I'm excited to smell what this year's one's going Going to be like oh the dust cover is so pretty look at that look at that oh okay it's spicier than the one from last year it still has that outdoor freshness but it smells a little bit sweet a little bit spicy 
And so for this one, the under notes are is to capture holiday memories with foster balsam notes with amber and salted caramel. That's where the sweetness comes from, the salted caramel. So it has like that little bit of a fresh air. It like you're like in the woods. Ooh, in the woods making s'mores with caramel chocolate. Yes, yes. Now, disclaimer, I have a weird nose quite a few years ago, lost my sense of smell, took a while for it to come back, relearning all my scents. So this is how I experience it. I think everybody experiences scents so differently because it's such a personal thing. Anywho, this has a like little bit of woodsiness to it, but a little bit of freshness and that sweetness. I actually find these two smell a little bit similar. I think it's those, that sweetness. The pumpkin spice has a little bit more of that, that cinnamony scent to it. But the frosted balsam is quite nice as well. All right, let's move on to the next one. I love the name of this one, Spicy Hot Toddy. This one, the description says, you snuggle up and relax by a crackling fire with a hot toddy and notes of caramel, ginger, and vanilla cream. I feel like this one will be one of my favorite ones because I love the smell of ginger. I like the smell of vanilla. And I mean, caramel is caramel. What's not to like about that? I love the smell of ginger. So I'm thinking that this one might actually be one of my favorite ones. So we might burn this one tonight. So here is the dust cover. It's not as cute. I mean, it's still really nice, but I really like the for balsam one the most so far. And I like how the theme is all kind of like that muted color. This one's light. I like light. I'm not smelling a lot of the ginger right now, but it is quite light. I think maybe if I burn, when I burn it, it might be a little bit more intense, but something like this would be perfect for when my mom's over because she does have a sen sensitivity. So this is a spicy hot toddy. I was hoping to be a little bit more excited about this one, but I'm gonna burn this one to see because I'm determined to find that ginger. <laughs> So these are $35 uh, regular price. There are promotions all the time on it. So make sure that you do go to the link in the description box to always check out the most current price point of it for you and your customers. Final one here that's brand spanking new guys is this one here. It's called Snickerdoodle. So I know Snickerdoodle is like a type of cookie. And so this is gonna be fun. Oh, 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 ah. Snickerdoodles are green? Looks green to me, but it could just be the filter that they put on. I've never had a Snickerdoodle. Have you eaten a Snickerdoodle? So it's supposed to be a buttery sweet aroma of cookies filled with, fill the air with cinnamon, almonds, and vanilla. Ooh, I think cinnamon really is a theme for this time around. Oh, I smell that butteriness. I definitely smell the butteriness, a little bit of cinnamon, maybe almond? What's almond supposed to smell like? Thinking while I drink almond milk, but I like the butteriness of this one. This one would be really nice if you are in your fireplace or in your living room, reading a book, having some tea, hot chocolate, cookies, this one, and this one would be really nice for that, the, the spicy hot toddy. I think that the pumpkin spice could go anywhere in the house, to be honest with you, and the fur balsam, this one would be perfect in a powder room, front room, fireplace room, so many different spaces. Okay, so now let's rate them. I'm the most intrigued by the spicy hot toddy because I had the biggest expectations for this one, and I smell the le I smell it the least, but I'm really determined to find that ginger, so I'm gonna burn this one first. I think out of all of them, the most perfumey one is this fur balsam. It reminds me almost of like going into a store, like going into a crate and barrel or or a pottery barn. This one, I think, I think like going Starbucks coffee type thing. This snickerdoodle is going in my kitchen. I'm excited for this one. Mommy needs a sniffer. Can you come help me sniff some stuff? And you are going to decide which one is your favorite and your least favorite, okay? Hi. Miss J here is gonna be starting. Grade what? Three. Grade three, can you guys imagine? Grade three. All right, so we have fall candles here today and I want you to tell me which one is your favorite and which one is your least favorite. Okay. Pumpkin spice. Mm, yeah. It's okay. Fur balsam fireplace. Mm. You like this one? Oh, what, what does it smell like to you? It smells kind of smoky. Smoky? Okay, I can see how you get into that. I didn't think of that. See, scent is so, so individual. It's so personal. This one is the spicy hot toddy. Mm. What does this one smell like? It smells kind of sweet. The last one here, this is the snickerdoodle. Yeah. <laughs> you don't like this one? Uh -uh. Oh, okay. Very, very interesting because snickerdoodle is a type of cookie. So it has like 
notes of butter, vanilla, almond, and cinnamon. You don't like this one? Okay, so out of all of them, which one is your favorite? This one, spicy hot toddy, the one that I'm most intrigued about, which is interesting because I find this one to be the lightest one. And then your least favorite, which one should we send back? <laughs> Snickerdoodle. I don't like it. Maybe it's because of the vinegar. The vinegar? There's no vinegar in this. There's um, vanilla. Let me smell it again. Maybe it's too strong. This, I think this one is probably one of the stronger ones. So according to Jay, we're sending back the snickerdoodle. And we're definitely keeping the spice hot, hot toddy. So we'll try to burn this one tonight, okay? Okay. All right, thanks so much for helping, Moy. Okay, bye-bye. Thanks so much for joining this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. And I want to know from you, out of all of these, which one would be your top pick? Which one do you think you're going to love the most and you want to fill your space with that aroma and which one you're like hey, I don't know about that Jess if you enjoyed this video please make sure you do give this video a big fat thumbs up it really does help me out a lot and until next time guys stay well stay safe and stay fantastically kind I love you so very very much bye